Hi, and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this video, we're going to work on estimating sums by using our rounding process. So a good example of what I'm talking about is maybe you want to add up the numbers 57 and 23. But rather than going through all of the work of adding the 7 to the 3 and carrying the 1 and, you know, all that other fun stuff, really you want to work on rounding the individual numbers first and then adding those rounded numbers. And in the end, what you end up with is an estimate of what the true sum is. Now the process for this is fairly simple, uh, but essentially here's what you want to do. You first want to start off by rounding each of the numbers to their given place value. In a lot of instructions, they'll say what place value you should round things to. Um, and if they don't, then you should probably just round them to the largest place value in each of the numbers. Once you have that, then you can add the rounded numbers to one another. This is a, a pretty simple process because after you are done rounding things, usually you, you just have lots of zeros in the number and you just have those largest place values that you'll actually be adding. Once you are done, make sure that you use the approximate symbol, that's these two wavy lines here, to indicate that you, your answer is really an estimate of the true sum you're getting out. All right, so let's go ahead and run through a couple of examples so you have an idea of what I'm talking about in this process. So we want to estimate the following sums. And to start off this process, what we'll really do is we'll round each of the individual numbers. So I'm looking at 37, and it looks like we need to round that up to 40. The 41 will get rounded down to 40. And if you're not sure about that rounding, pro rounding process, definitely check out my earlier videos on how that works out. So now that I have the two rounded numbers, now we simply want to add these two together. And you can see it really just amounts to adding the fours together. That'll give me an eight. And then the rest of the numbers are just zeros. So I have that my answer, my approximate answer is 80. So the approximate answer to this sum is 80. Or I could say a, a good estimate of the sum is 80. All right, on to the next one. Let's estimate this one. So I'm looking at the three. It looks like this needs to be rounded up to 400. And in my other number, it looks like this will be rounded up as well. This will be rounded up to 300. So now I only have to add the 4 and the 3 together. That will give me a 7. And the rest of the numbers are all 0. So I have 700. So a good estimate of this sum is 700. All right, let's try two more examples. That way you have this thing down pat. All right, uh, now we're estimating the sum of these two. So I'm looking at the 8. The one right next to it is a 4. So that would get rounded down to 8,000. This one is a 1, the one right next to it is a 0, so this one gets rounded down to 1,000. And now I can add together the 8 and the 1, so I can get a 9,000 as my estimate. All right, next one. We'll take the 5, that gets rounded down to 500. And the 3, since the 7 is right next to it, will get rounded up to 400. All right, so we'll now we'll add the 5 and the 4. This will turn into 900. So as you can see, it's a fairly simple process. Remember to round both of the individual numbers first. Once you have those rounded numbers, go ahead and add them. Most of the numbers will be 0, so that should be nice and quick. And also remember that this answer is not the true answer of this sum. Uh, it is simply called an estimate of this actual sum over here. All right, if you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.